In this video, we're going to find the volume and surface area of a cylinder. The formulas we use to find volume and surface area of a cylinder, or standard soup can, for the volume is pi times the radius squared times the height, where the height is how tall the soup can is, and the radius is the radius of the circle on top. If we wanted to find the surface area, we'll use the formula 2, pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Let's take a look at some examples where we use these two formulas to find the area and volume. Here we have a soda can. Typically, it's 5 inches tall with a diameter of 2.5 inches. We want to know how much soda can fit into the can. If we're fitting it into the can, we want to fill it, that's volume, or pi times the radius squared times h. Might help to draw this can out. Not a very good artist. But we know it's 5 inches tall, and the diameter, the distance across the can, is 2.5 inches. The formula is asking for the radius, and the radius is only going to go from the center to the edge, half of the diameter, or 1.25 inches. Whoops. Radius is 1.25 inches. So plugging this in, pi is 3.14 times r, the radius is 1.25 inches squared, times the height, that's how tall the can is, 5 inches. And now we use order of operations. Exponents first, so we have 3.14 times 1.25 squared is 1.5625 square inches times 5 inches. Since we're using our calculator, let's just multiply straight across 3.14 times 1.5625 square inches times 5, keep multiplying across, and we end up with 24.53125 cubic inches. Filling up our soda can. Let's try another example. Here we have an engineer designing a hollow cylindrical container. It's going to be 4 feet long, diameter of 2 feet. How much to create the hollow cylindrical container? Because it's hollow, we're just doing the outside, which means we just need the surface area. Surface area formula is 2 pi r h, not squared, sorry. 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Maybe drawing a little picture of our cylinder here. It's got a diameter of 2 feet. It's 4 feet long or high. What's the radius then? The radius is 1 foot. So we just plug everything in to this formula. 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 1 foot, times the height, it's 4 feet high, plus 2 pi, 3.14, times the radius, which is 1 foot squared. And again, we use order of operations, doing the exponent first, everything else staying the same. 2 times 3.14, times 1 foot, times 4 feet, plus 2 times 3.14, finally got to the exponent, 1 squared is 1 square foot. Multiplying next, since we have our calculator, let's just do 2 times 3.14 times 4 is 25.12 square feet, plus 2 times 3.14 times 1 is 6.28 square feet, and finally adding together to get our final surface area of 31.4 feet squared. Again, identify are we filling it with the volume, covering it with the surface area, and then using the right formula and following the order of operations.